there is only one perfect solution, but there are clues that will try to trick our team. Hello there everyone, my name is Crazy Caleb and welcome to Morse Complication. This is going to be the second bit in our series of the vanilla swirls, and this is a combination of complicated wires and Morse code. So this module itself is actually fairly simple to do, but the hardest part about this is actually going to be reading the Morse, because there might be some different ways that we actually have to read or interpret the Morse code characters that we do. So, let's get right into this. So the six LEDs at the top of the module transmit Morse code. However, all transmissions have been obfuscated, so we don't know exactly what the letters are going to be, quite frankly. Uh, now, there is a possibility of different ways that this can the each letter can be received, and these are going to be based off of these instructions down here. So we're going to use the Venn diagram below to identify how to undo the obfuscation process from the properties of the from the properties of the wire connected to the transmitting LED. So each position is going to have a series of different properties, which include white, red, blue, or blue coloring, and if it's marked with a star down below. So we're going to use this little Venn diagram, and we're going to get a symbol that's going to correspond to each of these instructions. And these instructions include seizure shifting one forward, once backwards, applying at bash, reversing the transmission. Uh, changing dots to dashes and vice versa, and inverting the on and off states of the LED. These last two are going to be the really weird ones that you might have to get used to, especially inverting the on and off states of the LED. It's something that normally people can handle, but it's definitely going to take some practice to get used to, especially considering how fast the LEDs are going. So, but without a doubt, you'll be fine. And from what I understand, Consume Woodworking Supplies is just, it's meant to be that you, you will never get cases like these. Um, for example, the topmost, in this case, where none of these apply, in this case, white, red, blue, and marked with a star, where none of them apply, uh, that just simply is not possible, I don't think, based off the generation. So, uh, this is just, this is just essentially a joke, where it's saying, hey, this is never gonna happen, where you're never gonna get all four, um, you're never gonna get a white, uh, red or blue, um, in this case, all three colors, it's just not possible, and you're never gonna get just star. So these are cases where this will never happen. But it's a funny way of wording it. So, but what's going to happen here is we're going to now get a um, a series of different Morse code characters, and we're going to obviously decrypt, uh, decrypt them from the uh, instructions here, and we're going to decode the obfuscated Morse code to obtain six letters that can be unscrambled to form one word in the table. And in this case, I'm going to full screen this because the manual is a bit weird. Uh, and what these words um, what these words are is going to be like these. Uh, and what these are going to give us is they're going to give us the wires in the in the positions to cut. In this case, it might be just one, or it might be five, for example. So it's going to be that. And that's what we're going to do with this one. It's fairly simple to do, and it's a fairly simple concept. So let's go through this table, and let's see what we can do here. So uh, the components for this one is a red, blue, and a star. So we have red, uh, red, blue, and star with us here. So these are going to represent the dashed bit in this table, so this little bit. It's going to be hard to highlight this. Um, then we have the dot dash. So we've got dot dash, in this case, the bottom left one bottom left, top right, and we have just the, the just the solid line, in this case, this one in the bottom right. So all three of these combined, in this case, not including the top left one, is going to give us an asterisk here, in this case, this little bottom left asterisk. And now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the at bash cipher. So we're going to get the letter that from in normal Morse code, but then what we're going to do afterwards is we're going to apply at bash to it. And for those of you who are familiar with how at bash works, uh, or not familiar with how at bash works, essentially what this does is this basically is just putting the alphabetical position that we have here, and just kind of putting it in the opposite side of the alphabet. So in this case, A is going to be equal to Z, B is going to be equal to Y, and a nice little formula that you can actually do for Appbash is going to be 27, in this case, let's pop out a handy dandy calculator, 27 minus the alphabetic position of the letter you currently have. So let's say if we wanted to do Oscar, for example, so 27 minus 15 uh, would give us a total of 12, and in this case, as you can see here, Oscar is indeed, um, if you were to Appbash it, would give Lima. So in this case, that makes sense. So that's what Appbash is. It's a very simple one to do. Uh, it's much more understandable. So let's see what letter we have up here in the top here. And we're not going to be, and it's just going to be the blue LEDs that we're going to focus on here. So we've got a dot, 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 which in this case corresponds to Sierra. So Sierra is a 19. So uh, 27 minus the 19 is going to give me a total of eight, which is going to be hotel. So hotel is going to be our first letter in this, uh, in this word, potentially. So. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, so next up, we have uh, our next wire is going to be a red and a white. So in this case, we have these two guys right here. And um, we have no star present, so it's just going to be the dotted one and the dashed one. So in this case, it's going to just be these top left and top right ones, which is going to give us a tilde, which represents chains, dots, two dashes, and vice versa. So let's take a look and let's see what happens here. 
Well, this is actually a really quite simple one. It's only giving me a dash, so all I have to do is simply transmit it to a dot. So we're going to be looking at echo in this case. Echo is going to be the word, echo is going to be the letter that we get this time around. Okay, fairly simple. Uh, next up, we have blue star. We've got blue star, and that's it. Uh, blue is dot dash, so in this case, the bottom left, and the mark for the star is the bottom right one, in this case, the solid line. That's going to give us an exclamation mark. Now we get into some weird stuff, and this one might take me a moment to get used to. Uh, so we are appearing to get dash from this one, which actually is quite easy, quite nice to see that. Um, but yeah, this one is just a dash, and all we're simply going to do is we're going to read the black bits that are going to be transmitting here, which is just going to correspond to a dash here, because that's all that's happening. Um, uh, let me make sure. Hold on. Yeah, they look like they're just going on and off. So, like, these are both transmitting tango. There's the exact same characters. I just need to make sure that it's not, like, for example, transmitting a dot uh, in black. Because that can be potentially a bit weird. But essentially what's happening here is that tango that would normally be transmitted with the blue light in the third position is actually representing the end of the sequence for this, for this particular one here. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, in this case, this one is indeed a tango. It's quite simple. Um... But yeah, that's it. These ones, it's a bit weird to read it at first, but trust me, once you understand that you are going to get a word from this, um, and if something doesn't make sense, then obviously you're totally able to freely look back and just try and figure out what the heck's wrong with it. Because there is, if you get five of the letters, you can pretty much figure out the six for the most part. So let's continue on. Uh, next up, we've got a red blue star. So we've got red blue star. Uh, so everything except white, so in this case, the top left. Uh, it's going to be similar to the one that we had beforehand. It's going to be an asterisk. So we're going to apply the at bash cipher. So let's take a look and see what we get. So we get dot dot. Uh, so dot dot is going to be in India. So we got 27 minus 9 uh, is going to be 18. 18 is going to give us a Romeo. Okay. Next up, we have just white. So white is going to be right here. And we happen to get another case where we're going to be inverting the on and off state of the LEDs. It's just going to be corresponding to the top left here. So now we actually get a chance to see what this actually looks like here. So that dash at the at that dash um, that is applying here, so dash right here, that's going to represent the ending and the beginning of the new letter here. So we've got dot dot, uh, I believe dot dot dash, dot dot dash, yes. So as you can see here, let's zoom in on this guy. So we got the dash right here, so dot dot dash dot dot dash there we go so the black is transmitting the dot dot dash that's what we're looking at here so hopefully you guys can see that so dot dot um so it's going to be the dot dot dash right there and that's going to give us a uniform from this so that's what it means by taking a little bit of time to get used to the inverted state of the on and off leds this is going to result in a uniform okay let's continue on and our final letter here, in this case, is going to be just blue. So just blue is the dot dash one. That's going to be a plus. And this one is simply going to be she's shifting once forward. Now, uh, this means that we're going to be just only shifting once forward. This is not like going to be like an encryption thing where we have to reverse it. It just simply means you're going to be she's shifting once forward in the alphabet. So A goes to B, B goes to C, so on and so forth. So let's take a look. So we have a dash, dash, I believe dash, dash. Yeah, that should be it. That is a um, mic. That's going to go to a November. Um, okay, so now we have all six letters, and I'm going to probably just start looking for um, just Hotel, because that's a rarer character, I would argue. Um, and let's see if we can find something that works here. Yes, here we go. So now, if we can take a look at our letters here, we have the word of Hunter. So in this case, we use the Hotel, the Uniform, and the November, the Tango, and the Echo, and the Romeo. And in this case, our word corresponds to Hunter. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the wires in the second and the third position. And just like that is a solved module. That's all there really is to it. There's not much else to say about that one. Um, and let's go over one more example. Um, we did get we did get two of the we did get the two uh, tricky ones that I, I was able to explain here. Um, but we, we did not get reverse transmission, uh, which overall, it's pretty much exactly what you think it would be. You just simply flip it. That's it. <laughs> So let's take a look at one more example. Um, again, we'll see what we get, but overall, this pretty much explains how the model works.
Excuse me. I had to take a sneeze there. Sorry about that. Okay. So now let's take a look at our second example here. So um, blue star is going to be our first one that we're looking at here. So dot dash and solid line is going to be the exclamation mark. So we actually get an inverting on and off states. Okay. Let's take a look. So uh, this is just another case where we run into a dash. Okay. That's a tango. Yep. Very, very similar to that one. <laughs> similar to the one that we had from beforehand. Perfect. So we get red, blue star for the next one here. We've got the dashed line, we've got the dot dashed line, and we've got the solid line. This is another one I feel like we've had before. Uh, it's going to give us the asterisk again. We're going to be playing the at dash cipher. Uh, dot dash dot dot. So that's going to be corresponding to lima here. Dot dash dot dot. Um, that's going to be 27 minus 12 is going to give us 15, which is going to be Oscar. Coincidental that I happened to do the exact same example. Um, all right, let's take a look. So we've got just red this time around. So just red is going to be dash. Another asterisk, another apply at bash cipher. Let's take a look. So we've got a dash, dash, that's going to be a mic. Uh, and we're going to do 27 minus 13 is going to give us 14, which in this case is going to correspond to November. Okay. Uh, next up, we have red, white. So red, red, right is going to be dots and dashes. Um, this, is, this is going to be a uh, tilde again. Tilde corresponds to changing dots and dashes and vice versa. So let's take a look. So we've got a dash, dot, dash, dot. So in this case, dash, dot is going to be now changed to dot, dash. And now what this is going to give us is this is instead of going to give us November, it's going to give us alpha. So alpha is going to be our letter here. Next up, we have just white. White is going to be an exclamation mark, inverting this on and off states of the LED. All righty. Uh, so let's take a look. So we're waiting for one dash to come through for the uh, the blue LED to come on. Uh, so we got dot, dot, uh, let me take a look at this. Dash, dot, 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 dash. So let me take a look at that dash, dot, dot. Dash, dot, dot, dash. Dash, dot, dash, maybe? As you can see, I'm still not good with this one. Uh, this is probably the trickiest one that's kind of messed with me. Um, Dash, dot, dash, dot, dash. I can see that dash, dot, dash, dot. Dash, dot, dash. I can see that. So that would, in this case, give me a Charlie. Charlie actually is a letter that you can form here. So therefore, that makes sense. Um, Okay, that's looking like it might be a word. Uh, but let's figure out what our last letter is. So we've got blue, white here. So blue and white corresponds to dot, dash, dot. Uh, there's going to be the dots and the dashes and the dots. Uh, which, in this case, we actually get our last one that, we gave, that we're able to do here. Which is a reverse transmission. Perfect. So in this case, let's get our actual sequence here, which in this case is simply dot dot. Well, that's great. Reversing the transmission of dot dot will give you dot dot, which in this case is going to result in an India. Okay, so let's take a look and let's see if we can find this word present here. And this one actually should be a bit interesting. Let's look for maybe Charlie. Charlie's a bit of a rare character. Um, uh, hmm. Uh, action. Yes, here we go. Our word is action, which in this case happens to be the very last one. So, uh, what we're going to do now is we're now going to cut positions 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And just like that is a solved module. A fairly simple module to understand and actually do. I really like this one a lot. This one's a very nice and easy one. I think probably the easiest one of them all. Um, well, no, memory wires is definitely a lot easier, but the easiest, but one of the easiest ones of the memory of the uh, vanilla swirls. Uh, so as always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay crazy, stay cool, don't get the complicated by the Morse, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>